Farg with ProGrass, and today we're going to be looking at a, a lawn replacement. And a real common part of your landscape is to occasionally have to replace your lawn. A typical lawn will last anywhere between 10 and 15 years, but eventually the lawn, even if it's well cared for, will develop a lot of farm grasses, the grade may settle or become uneven, and it gets to the point where you do really need to replace the lawn. So today, what we're going to do is look at a few things that we do that are involved in lawn replacement and how we take an old lawn and replace it with a new one. This area has just been stripped. Uh, the original sod was removed using a sod cutter after it was sprayed out using a grass killer. And it'll be prepped and graded prior to addition of the new soil and sod. During a lawn replacement or any lawn changes, it's always good to make sure your sprinkler system is running properly. And it's a, it's a lot easier to change heads or modify a system when there's no grass. So here we're basically letting the system run to make sure we see any problems with spray head patterns or broken heads. And that gives us the opportunity to replace them now rather than later when the sod's been placed. Occasionally we need to make some modifications in an irrigation system when replacing a lawn or just maybe the landscape wasn't being watered properly. In this case, we're basically digging a new trench here to tap into this rotor uh, to be able to allow watering from that side. So what has to be done first is the existing head needs to be dug up so we can locate the pipe or the water connection to make another connection to that to either add a head down here or to move that head to another area. So first has to be done, we have to dig out a trench to be able to move it and then we can always have to find the point of connection. Here we have fresh sod that was just cut this morning in the Willamette Valley at our sod farm from Oregon Turf Farms. And this sod was cut uh, right at the crack of dawn and it's rolled up and placed on a sod to prevent desiccation or drying out of the soil and the grass itself. Uh, after this is brought to the site, what we do is we unroll this on the already rolled and smooth surface. And one final time it's being rolled to make sure that this soil comes in contact with the soil that's in the landscape, and that makes sure there's no air, air pockets and that we have really good, quick rooting. After the soil bed has been prepared and rolled, uh, the sod is the next step, and the sod is basically a, a finished product. It's, it's grass already been cut, it's in perfect shape to be applied to the lawn, and it's simply rolled out in a uniform pattern. Once the sod is rolled out and made sure that it's firm up against the edge of any paved area, the next piece is taken and rolled out as well. All sod mats have a bevel to their cut, so when we place the sod mats end to end, you make sure that the bevels match, and that makes sure that you have a nice clean connection, so you have minimal change from one piece to another, and that gives you a nice consistent lawn. Uh, we also, if you notice, the bottom is very smooth, and these roots are just ready to pop out of the soil and penetrate the subsoil, so generally within seven to ten days, you'll have rooting to the point where you will not be able to even lift this off the soil. Well now we're here at this lawn replacement and pretty much everything's been installed. Our, our crews have just finished up. They've got all the sod placed in the proper location. It's been graded, it's been rolled, it's been fertilized. And now we're at the phase where we just basically need to wait until it roots down. So this is a critical time to make sure that your lawn is being watered properly. You need to pay attention to see how things are doing. If you see any brown spots, uh, be aware of that. But what we've basically done here is we've laid all the sod down on a firm, smooth surface, edge to edge. And what's important to realize about sod, when it's laid, is it's basically it's a thin layer. And down here on the, on the soil surface, you can still see, even though it's been laid uh, evenly, you, you can still easily lift this up. Uh, so basically you're dealing with a very small, thin layer of, of, of sod right now that's rooting in. And generally within 7 to 10 days, you'll have enough rooting in the lawn to really not be able to tug on it very much anymore. And then at that point you can start to modify your irrigation and you'll have a brand new lawn. And typically I recommend that you start mowing your lawn uh, probably about two weeks after the time it's been, been laid inside.